What's up guys? We are here in the Des of Ho Chi Minh City on a quest to try a variety of different snails. And as you guys can see right behind me stands one of the many elk restaurants here in Ho Chi Minh City. And we're here to show you guys why snails are so popular in Vietnam. Alright guys, let's show you guys how this place works and let's go order some snails. Anh em ơi gọi từ món rồi từ dĩa vậy? <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. We're gonna want to come up, and each elk place is different. Some other places you just point and they make the food that you point at. But here, pretty much, you're gonna grab one of each thing that you want. I'm gonna grab this, and some of this, some of this, uh, maybe this, and they'll make a whole plate of each single thing that you get. What else? Should I try one of these big ones? Oh, they are big. I am not going to be able to eat that. that maybe, maybe, like maybe this one right here. Look how big that is. It's like bigger than your hand. <laughs> right, so you guys can see right here, this is what I chosen on my plate. I got one of these big oysters right here. I'm not exactly sure the names of any of these. So I'm not going to try to tell you what they are because I don't know. But um, let's get them to start cooking this. And one of the things that you guys have to get is noodles. So stir fried noodles to go along with your plate of seafood. So once you pick it out at this spot here, you're just gonna sit down, they'll come over to you and get you all sorted after that. Um, cái này nướng bằng gì được? Yeah, okay, mở hành cái này. Yeah, mở hành mấy cái này. Mở hành không nè. Okay. Ăn phô mai được không? Ăn phô mai thì nướng cái này phô mai. Okay, mấy cái này nướng hết mở hành đi với cái này nướng um, bơ với tỏi phải không? Sao bơ tỏi. Sao bơ tỏi, ok. Cái này xào me không? Ok, ok. Cái này nướng được đấy. Ok, ok. Đi cho mình uh, mì xào rau nướng. Mì xào ốc hả? Mì xào không? Uh, mì xào không với rau thôi. So once you guys have your snails all sorted on your plate, at this spot right here, you're gonna sit down at your table, they're gonna come sort you out and ask you what you want to have your seafood cooked in. So there are a few different options that they laid out for us. They said pho mai, which stands for cheese. So you can get cheese onto your scallop. They also have ma han, and that's like oil and green onion and a little bit of garlic mm -hmm. as well. And that that is our favorite. So and they like put peanuts on it. And they put peanuts on it. So you guys have to try the ones cooked in ma han. And like I was saying before, make sure you order some noodles to go with your seafood here because you will have a complete out dinner without that. This one is. <laughs> it's the size of Francis's head. It's gigantic. Oh. There's no way I'm trying that. And that's for me. Too big for me to try. That, that one is for me, guys. I'll try anything. I know snails don't look the most appetizing, but don't knock it till you try it. Actually, the, our first date, I took her to snails. And she was probably like, what the fuck am Yeah, I, I was very much like that. What and am I eating? my sisters were like, oh, so where did you go for dinner for your first date? And I was like, we went to a street place to eat snails. And they were like, no, don't go back out with him. No. <laughs> and it was funny because when I first came to Vietnam and my friends took me to one of these places here, I was kind of wary because the seafood sitting outside, didn't really want to eat there. But when I tried it, I went back so many times to that one spot that I became a regular. They knew my order every time. Yeah. But don't knock it until you try it. Wow, we. Oh, no. Holy smokers. Woo. They're so fast here. It's been like not even five minutes and suddenly all the food's here. I kid you not, guys. This is probably the fastest up place we've been to. Ever. The other ones, they bring it out like one at a time and it's kind of slow and it kind of sucks, but that's so normal in Vietnam for them to bring out one thing at a time, you eat it, and then the next thing, even though like you might need to have rice with your food and it comes it's out like glass. It's like when last. you have sushi, right? And you want to like have a little bit of each type of sushi at like, you know, yeah, like between them. Yeah, but between them. Sometimes all the sushi, like you only get one type at a time. You and it's, 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 it it's so common in Vietnam, but here, literally, we just ordered. 20 seconds ago, yeah, and rapid. most of our food is already here. I'm gonna try my Amongst faithful this ones. platter of food that we have here. This one I actually do know the name of. This one is Thor Dep, so and Mu Han is the sauce that's cooked on it. So you got like the peanuts, the oil, the onions, and my favorite thing 
is Moi Tu, is that how you call it? Moi Tan. Moi Tan. It's like salt and pepper mixed with lemon. You ready? Mm. Mm. I thought it was really good at this place. Yep. It tastes really fresh. I'm like zesty. It's not too chewy, but it's not dry either. It's good. It's really good. So oh, she, she just dropped off the big ones there. Can you pull it over? And when she dropped it off, she picked up the plate that we had with like all the different shells. She was like, their order's done. They are not waiting for anything. That's so smart. It's really smart. I've they never seen a, a place do that. Holy shit. I have no idea how you're going to eat this. <laughs> Those are huge. Look at the size of my head next to it. And there's two of them. They think I'm having one. I ain't having one. <laughs> so, hmm. Should I go for the big boy right at the start? The big goose? I mean, I feel like if you don't eat it at the start, you're not going to have enough space for it. Nah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's fire it up. All right, guys, first, got to get my noodles, you know? My noodles with Morning Glory, which is probably one of the best vegetables here in Vietnam. Got to get my noodles already. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> it's so hot. Okay, let me wait for it to cool down. Let's try one of these. I'm not uh, sure exactly what we have here, but it looks like there is, like I was telling you guys, some oil, some spring or green onion, and peanuts to add the extra crunch to it. But it is also very big right here as well. Check this out. Slippery and slimy. Okay. It's really, really, really good. Like the meat is super fresh because it's super tender and it kind of falls apart in your mouth. And it's not super, super chewy. Not a big fan of snails that are like super, super chewy because it's hard to get down. But this one's really good. Let's try drinking this. Did it come out easy? Mm -hmm. Came out easy. All you have to do is really scoop around the bottom of it, detach it. So let's See, finish. I feel like that's my test for like if it's good. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Bottoms up. Mm. Really, really <laughs> Gotta finish it off with some noodles. Okay. So the noodles here aren't the best that I've had before. Some other places cook the noodles in butter and garlic and it is sometimes it beats the snails, the noodles. But this one is just cooked pretty plain, but that's okay. The snails definitely make up for that. Well, the clams and snails. Clams and snails. The shell. The, the shell shells. food. The shell food. Got a bunch of fans. Hello. Peace. Yeah. All right. I don't next? think there's very many foreigners down this street. No, definitely not. His jaw like dropped, and he just like pointed me out to all his friends. <laughs> this kid's very curious too. <laughs> Hi. Bye. <laughs> all right. What's on the plate next? All right. My friend is gonna try one of these snails <laughs> next year. They look super saucy. But you do get a special fork. Like a pitchfork. Yeah. All right. Oh, I didn't do that very good. Okay, I got it this time. How's it taste? It's kind of tangy. Oh, it's got chili in it. <laughs> it has chili in it. <laughs> it's really tangy, like. It's not sweet and sour, but it's got that texture. Kind of like a little bit gelatinous. Really good, and they're not, um, sometimes snails can get like a little bit dry if they're not fresh. These are super fresh. They're very juicy inside. All right guys, so it's time to try that very big oyster right here. Like, look at this. It's the size of my face. I don't even know how you're gonna eat it. I really don't know how I'm gonna eat it. Look at this. Big spoon? It is huge. And you guys can see, oh, I just put some juice in, but you can see there's like pepper in there, there's oil, there's like uh, this green Japanese pepper, I think. It's kind of like a jalapeno. Let me sneak it out. This right here, it's a little spicy. And I've only seen it in Japanese restaurants, so I think it is Japanese. Don't get mad at me if I'm wrong, though. Oh, I. Good idea. I gotta get that big spoon. Gotta get the big spoon. Here we go guys, cheers. 
Wow. You think this is poop? <laughs> I hope not. It's really, really spicy. Really spicy? Mm -hmm. See, I'm glad I'm not but It's like a sweet, zesty, sour, kind of like you were saying too. Mm -hmm. It's not sweet and sour, but it's similar. I think there's poop in this, guys. I don't, I'm not really sure. <laughs> you only live once, right? Might as well try snail poop. Like I was telling you, don't knock the poop until you try the poop. I really hope it's not poop because there's a big wad in there. <laughs> really tough to chew that one. A little bit too spicy for me, but the taste was really sweet and sour, which was really, really good. But my mouth is on fire right now. I don't know if you can see the tears starting to well up in my eyes. Oh my god. Yeah, we're gonna try this one. We actually have never gotten snails. Uh, let me show you guys this quick. But we have never really gotten snails. Like, yeah, we have never really gotten snails with this gloopy sauce before, so let's give this one a whirl. See how it goes. Did I spill it? I think it's you were so close to it. <laughs> you know, we got some good club karaoke music across the street. Some good food. I'm telling you guys, it might look unappetizing when you first see them all chilling there, uncooked. Yeah, it's not even but unappetizing. But I have grown for it to be one of my favorite dishes here in Vietnam. Like, it is so, 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 so good. That's cracked. There we go. Let's see, show you guys what's inside. These ones are pretty small. Brown sauce here as well, you guys can see. Got that on there. It's very sweet, kind of tastes a little bit like hoisin sauce. I think so. The honey? Honey is good. Yeah, got another one on the go. Try this one. Mm. Super, super sweet. Not the cleanest on your hands to the eat. I haven't tried this one yet either. So here it looks like we got some just clams uh, cooked in mahan again. So you got the spring onion, the green spring onion. You got some of that oil to go with it and the crunchy peanuts are just like an extra touch to it that makes it so perfect. So oh, you're about to drip, you're about to drip. He's here. I'm a mess right now. We are a mess. But you know what? They give you a whole roll of paper. That's rare in Vietnam as well. I'm telling you, this is the place. The address will be posted in the description below for you guys. This one here has been my favorite so far. So, so, so good. I don't know how many people like ASMR here, but... Ready? <laughs> the only ASMR is the karaoke next door. <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard me slurp that out. We did it. <laughs> we are so, 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 so full. I am ready to go home and lay in a foot coma and watch TV. <laughs> and our table looks like mayhem right now. There's like shells, <laughs> sauce everywhere. Because one, I was trying to like move my camera around and this stuff's not very easy to eat uh -uh. with sticky hands and using your camera. But that roll of toilet paper came in very handy and we pretty much finished it. It is a mess. We have, we have a mountain of toilet paper on our table right now. But, but let's see the bill. Let's see how much all the seafood costed us because I reckon it'll be pretty cheap. See how, how like little girl that was? Uh, 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 uh. You gotta be, you gotta be strong. dominating and strong in Vietnam when you get this guy. I think this lady when she's done serving. Yeah. I'm gonna call her. Friends gonna call her. Let's see if you're dominant enough. No, louder. Louder. Anna, louder. Ding ding. Yeah, come on. There we go. Excellent go Vietnamese. <laughs> Oh, she's already here. They're so fast. You said that like two seconds ago. All right, she's counting up the bills, ladies and gents. Counting the drinks too. That's pretty cheap. Guys, wait, I have to convert that. Guys, you guys saw all that seafood on our table earlier, right? It was ridiculous how much food we got. And our total is... Wait, 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 that's way cheaper than I expected. 200 and 60k V and D, and that works out to be how much, Francis? 11 dollars. 11 US dollars. Hell yeah. 
yet again another fantastic meal and cheap meal in Vietnam. You guys gotta get here. Cheap meal, great food. It's just overall an excellent formula for a good time. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, like I was saying, I'm introducing more raw vlogs to my channel instead of just storytelling vlogs where it's super cinematic. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. But when you guys comment something and let me know that you enjoy this kind of stuff, it really motivates me to make it. So until next time, guys, the same outro every time. Peace out, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! -bye.